Hello and welcome to Morton's Corner. Today we'll be talking about the Structure Editor. And the scope of today will be how you can build your structure, how you can customize it, and then we'll talk a little bit about the segmentation and how the final segmented view will look like. So, in a thing, uh, you have a Structure Editor and this is where you build your entire portal. And you can furthermore, um, create segmentation either for your internal departments or if you have parts you want to have uh, visible externally or whatever. Um, so the way you do it is that you can drag over basic components into this uh, board here. So let's start out with the heading and uh, let's call that like uh, our company portal. Portal. There we go. Cool. And let's go ahead and have a line here. We'll just choose a solid line. And um, let's go ahead and have a link, maybe to a website or something. And we can call this uh, this portal. There we go. And that could be portal.com, whatever that is. And uh, let's change to the icon for that. You can also upload your own icons. So if you have some icons from your uh, organization, you can use those, or you have a designer that can make them for you. Now we'll just use a star for that. And let's make that star orange. So it pops nicely and is easy to see. Okay, let's add another line here. And let's make uh, let's make that a dashed line. Cool. Let's save all that. All right. So now we kind of have a base, and uh, this is when you can drag in your recordings. By default, you see all your recordings listed like this. Um, then you can create sections and subsections and so forth. And you can then drag the recordings in where they belong. What I have done in this project is that I have already divided my um, recordings into subfolders. So if you look in my recording structure over here, let's just have a look at that real quick. I have already made folders. So if I go into HR, you'll see my four recordings in uh, DHR. The cool thing about this is, and I'll show you now, is you can drag the whole, um, you can drag the whole thing across. So it automatically builds it for you. Let's see, I'll drag the HR now. Put it down there. So the HR um, will automatically create a folder uh, um, and then the, the subsequent processes for that. And each icon will have um, will have its icon selected based on the name of the of the folder or the work instruction that's in. So the HR has two people interacting. The process is this process icon, uh, contracts is uh, two handshakes, um, and so forth. So that's kind of how that works. And of course you can change the icons and the colors and everything. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's change the colors for this. Just gonna select all those. And uh, let's make those orange maybe. How about that? So for the segmentation part, um, I have created a bunch of segments here. Each of these segments will create a unique hyperlink that is then relevant for that group of people. So that I could, uh, I can just send one link to a specific group of people uh, that is then, you know, snipped out from this portal. Instead of having to build multiple portals per segment, I can just apply everything directly on my one structure, right? Um, so that's what we're gonna try to do now. I have a general, which is everything. Um, that's just kind of to kind of have a, like a baseline that is available for all parties. Um, and now I'm going to create my, uh, I'm going to create a management sub portal that is relevant just for management, right? So let's try to do that. Let's go ahead and select everything. And let's unselect sales.
and let's unselect the uh, patch of HR. And that is it. Let's go ahead and give management access just to these specific parts. Yeah, let's create a, a link for those. So all I do is I click on here. There we are. Let's try to save that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and set the rest of these segments and I'll be right back. So I've created uh, a bunch of segment selections for this and uh, just to show you the preview, I have of course uh, the general portal. This is just a normal overview without segmentation, right? Then we have uh, a segmentation for general that I made. They can see everything. Um, all the sub processes are here. So you can see now let's try to see management they were not allowed to see sales right so there we go sales are gone and they cannot see all the HR processes we also disable that and I also have an external link for external partners um, and what they can see is that they can see branding for partners and they can see in HR they can see how to apply for position and external job listings so that's a portal just for externals right and then we have a link here, which was uh, our web, corporate website um, that we've added. So yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of how you can use the strengths of the segmentation. Now, when we produce this, um, you will get individual URL that you can use. Let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and do that. It takes a little bit of time to produce. So, Let's go ahead and publish this. So here you can see the content has been published. Um, what's cool about this is you get individual links for each segment you've created. Um, that means that you can, uh, you could, for example, send this external link to your external customers. And you have a specific management link you can use down here. And here's your general link we also created. So it makes it a lot easier to uh, distribute your content without having to create multiple uh, full structures. You can just break it up like that. One more cool thing uh, about the structure editor is your ability to share it. So what you can do is that you can share this if you wanna have um, your colleague or your boss or someone in the organization tell you, you know, how do the thing they look and give you some feedback, you can just share a direct link to that. And um, they don't even need to click on. So um, they don't even need to click on install to be able to see it. It will just send them a link. So either you can just get a link here that you can send yourself, or you can, of course, let click and distribute it. If you let click and distribute it, it's just gonna ask you for their email and that's it. Um, it's a really cool feature. Uh, so yeah. Make sure you have someone uh, quality check your uh, your structure and your segmentation because you know that's that's what everyone's gonna see, right? Um, that's kind of your presentation of your final product, so for sure, cool. So just a brief few example of how it looks when you access it from the web. This is what you'll get when you are accessing the uh, the full portal. So a couple of best practice pointers um, for the structure, right? Think about the target audience and how you're going to uh, sub-segment it. Make sure it's easy to navigate and there's really no need to overcomplicate it. Like don't make uh, tons of, of uh, subfolders where the recordings are in because then people have to click a lot around to find them. Um, so just, just make it so that it makes sense, yeah? For the segmentation part, have a general structure um, so that you have a kind of a structure that has everything in it. So you give a good overview, especially where if you have to do some sort of, um, uh, some kind of QA on the content, like, or, or if you want to check out like what needs to be updated later on and stuff like that. So you have a better overview. 
Um, and of course, you want to segment your uh, subtracts only when it makes sense. Uh, so, you know, don't don't make tons of, uh, of sub segments if you don't need to. Um, just, uh, just keep it simple where you can. And uh, then, of course, you know, for the other video that is up regarding the authentication methods, uh, make sure you consider that um, when you provide access to the structure. And yeah, well, that's it for me. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, learned something today and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.